Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 1st, 2021. So last week, my goodness, we had a shot of volatility that really got a little bit nutty, and it's likely going to continue, unfortunately. Um, this morning, we have futures perking up after um, opening in, uh, during the night. They um, oh, Futures opened down, substantially down, but they've reversed overnight, looking for a gap up open. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and you're ready for another a wild price action week ahead. The possibility of that certainly does exist. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. One of the things that we have to pay attention to now is that we have broken that longstanding uptrend in the market. And unfortunately, we talked about this last week, that possibility that if we rally back into the resistance of the charts and run into that price resistance and the, the uptrend resistance, that if we found a failure there, that could create some problems. So um, that actually did occur. And we end up with a little bit of a technical break here in the charts. Now, the good news on this is that we have a significant level of support. We we actually closed Friday below 30,000 here on the Dow, which is a key psychological level. And um, this morning we're bouncing back above that in an overnight reversal. Now, one thing that has been occurring on and on and on in here is that by the dip crowd. Um, you're going to want to be a little bit more cautious on that whole buy the dip mentality because what we've done now is we have created some uncertainty. First off, we have the uncertainty of earnings. Earnings have created all of this crazy wild volatility. We've also had the Reddit community out there creating this uncertainty in the market. And we have, um, you know, a substantial number of earnings reports and economic things to deal with this week. So what we're going to have to do is be um, really focused and flexible. We're going to have to stay on our toes and watch this price action pretty closely. Because this kind of activity creates that possibility of complete overnight reversals, intraday whipsaws, and even that um, that chance that that we could just get that curveball thrown at us um, with any of this um, political news or anything out there that could create some substantial volatility in price. So let's watch this carefully. Now, as we try to rally back up, let's keep in mind rallying back up means that we have to deal with price resistance levels in the chart. So here in the Dow, um, notice that we're trying, this is the pre-market candle we're trying to push up this morning. We have a resistance level that we're going to have to try and break back up through. And that'll be the interesting challenge. Um, I doubt the bears are going to give up quite as easily as they have in the past with these resistance levels above. We're going to really have to stay focused on that as we push back up. Now, can they give up? Of course, they could give up and we could rally right straight back up. But just note, if we run into trouble at these resistance levels, that's where we could see failures. If we could rally up in here, we could see failures. And that's where that technical damage really starts to build um, in these charts. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY. And, oh, by the way, if we take a look at our moving averages, note that on Friday, we broke down below our 50-day moving average. And this morning's bounce back up would be nothing more than a rally back to that 50-day moving average. Notice that our 50-day moving average is starting to round over just a little bit. So we're going to have to pay attention to that as well. We could certainly rally right into that 50-day reversal area, hit that, find that resistance, find those bears lined up for an attack, and push on down. This is a pattern that we call a blue ice failure. And I also want to point out that we could start seeing these um, shorter term moving averages up here starting to provide that resistance level right in this zone. So there is that technical 
uh, damage that's starting to occur here in that chart. Watch for that possibility. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY, uh, very similar circumstances. We uh, broke that that trend. We have failed some price support levels in the chart, as you can see, breaking on down. But at the same time, we have held some major support levels in the chart here on IWM or on SPY. So watch that carefully. We could run into these resistance levels as we rally back up, as we talked about in the Dow. Any of these resistance levels could be the place where the bears lined up to reattack. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Here again, we had a better uh, circumstance here in the SPY where we tested that 50-day moving average, but this morning we're trying to get a hold of that 50-day moving average, trying to produce that hold in there. So we're going to want to watch that pretty carefully and just stay kind of focused on these resistance levels as we push up. Notice once again that our short-term averages are starting to slip down just a little bit and we may be starting to see just the beginning where that diamond's 50-day moving average is start, starting to flatten out. So watch this level pretty carefully. If we get that additional attack, by the bears and we happen to slip below that 50 that could be um that could be pretty critical for the market so we need to see those bulls really fight hard to defend that level let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq has been kind of an interesting situation because the nasdaq had really stretched itself to the upside substantially so even though we had some pretty significant selling in the NASDAQ. Overall, we did pretty good. We held on to this price support right in here. And though we have created some resistance levels with this price action as we rally back up, we'll want to watch closely. We're in a much better situation here on the NASDAQ. And I would say that just simply because overall, we, we tested that trend really hard, but we're trying to hold it here. So overall, cues um, look to be, at least at this moment, one of the stronger of the indexes. And if they can hold that price support, if those bulls can defend that area, we're in good shape. However, if those big tech giants continue their little bit of selling that's been going on here, if they were to break that down, that could be a major problem for the market. So make sure you're staying focused here on that price action in these charts. And notice that we have yet to test the 50-day moving average in the NASDAQ. So if the NASDAQ, um, does get that attack by the bears. That would be one of those logical levels that we could test down here on the NASDAQ. So watch closely. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has really been um, pretty darn interesting in the sense that it, it, it broke down a little bit, but honestly, not so bad. It's been chugging up this very, very tight upside trend. You can see we broke that trend here. And there really isn't a really clear defined support level in this chart, but the breakdown here really wasn't all that bad in IWM. That being said, though, we're going to have to watch this level right in here as we rally back up and test that as resistance. And it's really going to depend on those financials and those oil sector stocks, whether or not we're going to hold up. And um, I want to point out once again that uh, although we're very, very bullish, this is about as parabolic as an index chart gets. So watch that closely as we continue to try and press and rally. It's going to be an interesting situation amongst all of these earnings and economic reports, Reddit community attacks and things like that, um, how the market um, digests all of that and settles this out. So watch closely. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX is showing us considerable concern here. And that concern um, is just, just a fear um, with all of these uncertainties out there in the market. And notice we closed above a 33 handle. Now remember, I've mentioned this many times before, that this doesn't get bad. You know, we've, we've seen that sell off here that the bears, I mean, the bulls just came in and took it all back. No harm, no foul. That could certainly happen here. We need those bulls to defend really, really hard and break this downtrend back down into this level. If they're unable to do that, if we push down into here and hold any kind of price level in here, 
hold that higher low, that's where the real selling wave could come in. So we're going to have to stay on our toes and watch this pretty carefully um, in the chart. One of the things that this means is if you're an option trader at all, the prices of options are just absolutely nutty right now. Market makers have spread out the bid ask um, spreads to protect themselves and those prices have shot up dramatically here in the recent future uh, recent future they could stay um, very elevated so we're going to have to watch this pretty darn closely um, in the chart so be careful here we don't want to see that hold of a higher low in here we will actually want to see the that fear start to drop back out of this market watch it carefully though uh, just because we could move really fast if we get that next little shot of fear or volatility in there. Um, one thing I have to expect is now that the bears have broken the trend, they're not going to give up as easily as they have in the past. We're going to see them fight just a little bit harder, which can create that volatility. So stay on your toes and stay focused. We could get intraday whipsaws. We could get complete overnight reversals. Anything is possible here. So make sure you watch your risk very carefully and be careful not to overtrade um this market because of the wild volatility let's take a look at our um t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio and what's interesting about this chart is with that sell-off into friday we pushed down here toward that bullish reversal zone Notice we still have room where we could move down to the downside, but this is probably our best evidence that we need some kind of a bounce. So we kind of oversold in the short term. So this morning's gap up, we're right now Dow futures are pointing to 250 point gap up. We're going to bounce back up in here pretty substantially in T2122. So we'll want to watch that closely as we kind of run into some of these um, 50 percent resistance zones and things in t2122 can we follow on through and really break through resistance levels in the chart that's going to be interesting we don't want to see that rally back up and then that complete reversal failure on down here to test um, these reversal zones again but it certainly is possible with this volatility let's take a look at t2101 real quickly t2101 has moved up here and unfortunately it's moved up on the selling wave not the buying wave so let's keep a close eye on that if we see as the, as the buyers come back in if we can see this continue to extend continue to extend higher we may be in a good situation where we've kind of settled out this pull this pullback in the market and the bulls are resuming um, their engagement of this um, upside move but we'll want to watch that closely if for some reason as we try to rally back up we actually see market breadth declining that would be a problem for us so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar has a few things that we're going to be want to be paying attention to and we've got um, some big numbers coming this week oh, i apologize i picked up those other windows here let's see if i can fix that quickly sorry about that everyone and as you can see in here, we've got today, we've got a few things. We've got PMI that will be coming out at 945. And the biggest number of the day is going to be that ISM. Watch that closely today that could create that back and forth or that volatility um, could spike up if that number is good or bad we'll want to watch that closely and then we've got construction spinning and we've got some fed speakers as a matter of fact we've got a parade of fed speakers this week um, they're going to be out there in force we've got um motor vehicle sales on tuesday we're going to have the adp ism and petroleum status here on um, wednesday and what we're doing is we're ramping up for that employment situation number coming in on friday take a look here we've got 
all kinds of Fed speakers um, coming out. I doubt we learn anything new, but we'll want to pay attention to that. Uh, jobless claims, that will be interesting on uh, Thursday. And then that employment situation number and international trading goods, we'll want to watch that carefully, um, whether or not the pandemic has actually started to affect those numbers or not. That could be the question. Watch that close. Anything is possible. Um, on the... Um, earnings calendar, we have about 40 companies reporting earnings today, and we'll want to, um, you know, anything is possible in earnings season, as you know, whoops, that was the morning blog, anything is possible uh, during earnings season, and so we're going to have to stay on our toes as these earnings continue to roll out. There are some notables today that um, I want to point out, take a look at ARE, ARE, um, Real Estate Investment Trust have seen a an interesting little bit of bullishness here recently uh, quite a few of those really starting to perk up that be maybe one of the clues that there's a little bit of uncertainty in the market and people are seeking some safety of those uh, nice dividend payers this stock right here ARE has not really seen that nice bullish move but as you can see as it reports today um, there could be some interesting price action in here, so keep an eye on that. We've got CBT reporting today. Um, we've got um, NXPI. We might want to keep an eye on that one today. Um, watch that closely. It looks like it's bullish here this morning. Um, broke down from its upside trend, but we held some price support. So what'll be interesting to see is if it can, uh, on this earnings report, break on through there and actually... Um, get out of this little downtrend that it started to create in the chart. So keep an eye on that one. Um, on Semiconductor, On Semiconductor has been tremendously bullish this year. And as you can see, um, this has also broken a trend. And on Friday, um, actually started a little bit lower, but we had um, an earnings report and that's popping us back up. Looks like we got a little bit of a shooting star type pattern starting to form on the pre-market. Watch that level as we push back in there. Can we push on through? And, and, and by the way, guys, tons of charts looking like that. We're going to see a lot of charts popping up and moving up this morning, but if you really study the chart, you're going to find a lot of them are below resistance levels, and they're going to be attempting to test those resistance levels to the upside. We're going to see a lot of that, so watch that closely. You're going to want to be careful not to just blindly chase a bullish candle. Take a look at that resistance level above. Can they get back through? And that's going to be the interesting question. By the way, guys, if you want to see the full list of stocks that um, I've kind of pulled out as somewhat notable, you might want to go over to the blog. You just click the link right below the um, title of this video, and that will push you back to the blog, and you can get that entire list. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon if you believe um, you can get some good use out of these. And um, the purpose of these videos are to help everyone kind of um, avoid the hype and avoid the that daily rush, that fear of missing out kind of emotion that um, most traders feel and really focus in on the technicals of the chart so that we're not just allowing our emotions to control our trading. And if you find this to be helpful, everyone, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment, helps us continue to, go, to grow this channel. And also, please do me a favor and please share this video out on any of your social media platforms. It helps us continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. There's gonna be a lot of back and forth. We're gonna to have to be really, really careful. But one sector has been holding up quite well. Take a look at the cannabis sector, um, MJ. 
MJ is a uh, cannabis ETF. You can see it's been consolidating here. I've got a trend line um, in this chart, but notice I, I really don't know where that trend is going to be uh, until we actually get that bullish push through here in the chart. We know that the Biden administration intends to legalize cannabis. So keep an eye on that. If that can push on through, that could be pretty interesting um, for a chart. Um, also, there are quite a few others of those that are setting up interest in, interestingly. Uh, take a look at TLRY. TLRY also in that little bit of consolidating setup here. We want to keep an eye on that. We have um, Crone, Crone in that nice little consolidating setup. One of my favorite in the sector is CGC. Now this has had a enjoyed a really nice rally here recently. And I would be watching for this little rest or pullback in here to provide that next opportunity to the upside. Keep an eye on CGC. I think we need to take continue to keep an eye on these um, electric automakers. Um, a lot of volatility in these, but still continuing to set up in these charts and take a look here at NKLA. Nice little resting pullback in here. It was a little bit of volatility in it, but keep an eye on that. Um, if that holds this trend in here, then we have that opportunity to continue on higher. And as you can see, I've set another alert here in that chart. I've also uh, been uh, keeping an eye on Solo. Uh, whoops. Solo, solo. you can see I've got an alert here on that chart. Um, nice little consolidating move after breaking through. We just need that bullish energy to push us on up. So keep an eye on solo. And NIO is another that continues to set up in that pattern. So worth keeping an eye on in the chart. Changing direction here just a little bit, you might want to take a look at BABA. Now BABA's had some challenges here um, for sure lately. And notice that it is still um, trying to deal with some downtrend. We broke this downtrend and then we hit a resistance level in the chart. We struggled with that and failed, kind of creating that new little downtrend potential here in the chart. But let's watch that closely. If we can hold these price support levels in here and break back through, then we could see Baba start coming back around and re-engaging in an uptrend. Watch that closely. That That's something I watch for all the time in these stocks that go, go through these kind of protracted pullbacks, um, uh, something that you want to just watch for those potential trades. Um, other things that you might want to keep an eye on, retail, take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's uh, holding up very, very well. We pushed up, pulled back, but we're still holding in that support area. Kohl's looking good. Um, Abercrombie holding up pretty well overall in that trend. So quite a few things to pay attention to in these charts. Um, last but not least, I want to mention silver this morning. Now, I don't know. Um, we seem to be having the news that the Reddit community is now trying to put a short squeeze on in um, silver. And I mentioned this early last week as this perked back up. We're getting a big pop up here in silver this morning. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, I wouldn't want to chase it, but any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity. And it'll be interesting to see if that could follow through to help out gold here just a little bit. So watch those closely as the market gets a little nervous. Stocks like that can, um, uh, uh, these precious metals can hold up pretty well. So at least they have in the past. That hasn't, what we've seen here recently, been kind of an interesting thing, but keep a close eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day as we begin this week. Hope everyone had that wonderful restful weekend and we're ready to re-engage. It could be a little bit volatile. Um, option traders are going to have to be really, really careful with the wide bid ass spreads and the crazy prices that we're seeing in those options. Hopefully they'll start to settle down if those bulls can re-engage. We'll want to watch carefully though for those bears to uh, be lined up at those resistance levels for that additional attack. So be very, very careful. Be on your toes and be really focused in on that price action. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.